So I just want to say congratulations and well deserved. Thank you so much. All right. I was going to do just fine with this. All right. And I want Jim, is Jim here yet? Jim. Come on up, Jim. Come on up, Dana. This was a joint effort between three BBBs, um, Minnesota, Omaha, and I got in because I moved to Utah. <laughs> um, when Jim, Dana, and I realized that Ron Graham now qualified for the BBB Hall of Fame, we knew the time had come to recognize this man for his years of dedicated service. I'm not going to cry. <laughs> 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 Thank you, Mark. Not just to the consumers of the area, Areas of his. <laughs> yeah, you go ahead. Sorry, Ron. Should I start over? <laughs> <laughs> but to the BBB itself, many of us think of Ron as a mentor and guide, and I certainly do personally. Others think of his tireless efforts dealing with companies and counseling bureaus about advertising issues. Those of us fortunate to work closely with him know him as a friend. <laughs> I don't think I said anything. Oh, sorry. Jane. Okay, Jane worked for Ron for 12 and a half years, uh, grew up at the BBB watching and listening to Ron talk to airing companies, convincing them that they were doing what was wrong, showing them why and teaching them how they could fix it. He was relentless. If he couldn't convince them on the phone, uh, he went to their houses. No, just kidding. Uh, <laughs> okay, Jane's taking over now. <laughs> How true. Here are some things you don't know about Ron. He's got a wonderful life, wife, Lemmy, who I love. <laughs> She's my mom. She and their six children, Gregory, Glory, Grant, Gretchen, Ginger, and Garrick, put up with Ron being out of town on BBB business, working early and working late, and always talking BBB talk. Lemmy, we want to thank you for all your years of service behind the man. To show you our appreciation, our BBBs have sent you flowers, which should arrive at your house after you return, assuming our accredited business comes through. <laughs> it's a business. Uh, we figured you didn't want to have to lug the flowers through the airport. Ron's career with the BBB system spans more than 50 years. In fact, the 50-year mark was just last week. Ron started on September 29, 1959. Ron worked for the BBB in Minnesota from 1959 to 1998, and a year before he retired, he added North Dakota to the service area. Nineteen of those years were as president and CEO. He later came back out of retirement twice to serve as interim CEO for the BBB in Minnesota and the one in Nebraska. In fact, he was the interim president of the BBB in Minnesota when I was hired as CEO, and in Omaha, was Jim was hired as CEO. It's good to know Ron, isn't it? <laughs> he developed BBB University and has provided numerous hours of support and consulting services to too many BBBs to mention. Over his 40 years in Minnesota, he was instrumental in moving forward the mission of the Better Business Bureau. He became known as the guru of advertising review with his dogged insistence on truth in advertising and his relentless pursuit of those who fell short. He worked tirelessly to help set standards, both overall and industry-specific. He created training programs, and he brought BBBs together to challenge questionable advertisements. During the late 70s, Ron became one of the fathers of the BBB Auto Line program. In July of 1978, the Minneapolis-St. Paul BBB became the first BBB in the country to pilot what was then known as the GM Arbitration Program. Ron's pioneering work led to the expansion of the GM program, in other pilot UV cities, and ultimately to the successful launch of the nationwide UV Online program. Ron continued to serve as an expert advisor both to BBB Online and to other BBB dispute resolution and arbitration activities through the balance of his career at the BBB of Minnesota. 
and in his several leadership capacities within the CBBB governance. His service has not been limited to the BBB system. As a highly respected and outspoken advocate for business, business, business ethics, he was invited to serve on a variety of business and governmental boards, committees, and task forces in his service area, including the Minnesota Qual Water Quality Association, the Minnesota Jewelers Association, the Minnesota Council on Economic Education, and the Minnesota Newspaper Association. For more than 50 years, Ron has been a mentor, teacher, advocate, and friend to colleagues throughout the BUV system and to business people and consumers throughout the Midwest. He has been an unfailing and hardworking example of ethics, integrity, and service. We know of no one more deserving of recognition than the Veterans Bureau Hall of Fame. Please join me in welcoming Ron to the